Welcome to your orientation for the Law Insider Word add-in. I'm gonna walk through several features today. Good starting place. We do have more tutorial videos available on our YouTube channel, and we also host weekly webinars that you can sign up for through the website, lawinsider.com. Okay, to get started, if we have an expert playbook already in place for the type of agreement you are reviewing, we always recommend starting there. I can click on playbook review to see my options. Uh, I have a mutual NDA on the left. I'm gonna go ahead and select the one NDA playbook because it corresponds and I can initiate that review process immediately. Let me regenerate this. Okay, uh, the one NDA playbook in this case has 19 issues. Uh, and so it is tracking or it is comparing this document to those rules, leveraging AI. Um, and you can see it's starting to make changes to term, to dispute resolution method, to marked or identified, to sharing with representatives. These are all issues um, that are part of the one NDA standard. Now these may not be your issues, so I'll show you in a minute uh, how to build your own custom playbook. But if you wanna use these to start, uh, this is a growing library of standard playbooks that are developed uh, by the Law Insider team. Uh, so uh, I can take something, for example, non-solicitation, I can expand this and I can see that what it is doing it is, is proposing uh, that the non-solicitation clause be removed entirely because non-solicitation uh, provisions are not appropriate for NDAs, or at least that is the one NDA position. So you can decide whether to accept or reject, uh, but but should you decide to apply these changes, uh, they immediately take effect into the, into the document. Uh, make sure you have redlining turned on. Uh, this is a layer on top of Microsoft Word, so you still need Microsoft Word enabled uh, with the features you would normally have turned on for redlining. Um, okay, so that is how a standard playbook is run and used. At the bar on top will indicate the level of compliance, and then you can work through these individual items either by ignoring or applying uh, to get to final resolution. Okay, that is step one. Now. Uh, if I go over to chat, I can also inter uh, interface with the document uh, in a more free form way. So I don't have to use a playbook. And so an example of how this might work is I can uh, select redlining and let's say without reading the document, let me just say, um, please make sure choice of law is New York. So, uh, I know, for example, that this agreement, I believe, is California. Um, and so by selecting New York, it should propose a change. Aha, it has. Uh, and then I can go ahead and click on this. It'll take me to that section of the agreement. It looks like it's Clause 9 where that lives. Um, it is a pretty clean red line here. It's just changing this from the state of California to the state of New York. I'm going to apply that change, and you can immediately see the red line take hold here. Similarly with chat, I can also use it for drafting purposes. Um, and so let's see, um, let's say, uh, please add a liquidated damages provision. Um, certainly not appropriate for an NDA, but just for illustration purposes. Um, okay, it's given me one. I can of course edit this and modify it uh, by giving it more prompts or more direction. Uh, let's say, uh, please, change to 2 million, it looks like it's, it has 3 million here. So you can certainly interface in this way, uh, but once you're ready and you have a clause that you like, um, you just identify where in the document you want it placed uh, and then it will drop it in. So that's how that works. Uh, let me show you a couple more features here inside the chat. You can also use it um, just for general information purposes. You can say, uh, please summarize any risks in this NDA. Um, and again, this is where the power of Law Insider and OpenAI uh, is such a unique combination because it's not just pinging against OpenAI or any LLM for that matter. It's pinging against a combination of the LLM and the vast Law Insider contract database. We call this the Law Insider Index. So you will see uh, on uh, on average much higher results um, in, in terms of the types of clauses that are generated and in terms of the type of suggestions or issues that are spotted. Uh, okay, so uh, I see that it's identified nine issues. I can read through these. Um, I can also use this to summarize changes. Uh, so 
you should use the chat to interface with the document, not just in the event that you don't have a playbook, but also uh, just to orient yourself um, when needed. Okay, so let's uh, back out of this now. I'm gonna clear the chat. Uh, and I want to show you how to build your own playbook. There really are two ways to do this. One is from scratch, which I'll show you how to do. But the other is to use uh, a general review as a starting point. And what this is, similar to my comment a moment ago about the relationship between Law Insider and OpenAI, uh, if I click on AI review, it's going to begin creating a playbook on based on best practices, based on the Law Insider Index. Uh, you may disagree with the playbook, you may need to modify it, but it's a great fast starting point to, to build your own playbook. So I'll show you what that looks like. Um, you can indicate which party you're representing, lessor, customer, buyer, whatever it may be, and any specific issues you want uh, the AI to look out for. For our purposes for demonstration, I'm just gonna skip that step and go immediately to start review. Um, and now what's happening is it's going to analyze this document and it's it's going to start creating a playbook um, based on best practices and based on the Law Insider database and on uh, OpenAI. So, uh, just in the next five seconds here, it's going to complete. Uh, it'll identify several issues. It looks like in this case, it's identifying 15 unique issues um, one sided indemnification, uh, missing assignment clause. So, neither party may assign or transfer any rights. Uh, so, if you agree that this should be in there, um, then then you can add that. And so in this case, it's giving me the instruction to determine where that should go. I'm going to insert it cursor and you can see the non-assignment clause has now been added. Uh, so this is a, a good way to begin interfacing. Um, it's also a good way to then create your own playbook. And so these are individual issues that this playbook has built for us, governing law, indemnification, proprietary rights. Um, and I can, I can save this now as a playbook and I'll go back to my library in a moment and we can modify this further. And so again, uh, if you don't, if it's intimidating to build a playbook from scratch, this is a good way to use AI to get that first starting point before you start modifying it. Um, uh, okay, so now let's go over to playbooks. Um, a minute ago, we ran the one NDA playbook that is under the standards view right here. And now let's talk about custom playbooks. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new one. Um, we will call this demo playbook number five, and this is for NDAs, and I can go ahead and save it. Uh, and now I have a blank slate to begin building my own playbook, and I can do things like um, issue one might be term length, and I will create the rule that says, our default term length is 18 months. We accept between one year and five years. Uh, and so in this case, the AI would, uh, in the event that the term is six years or seven years, it's going to revert to the default, which is 18 months. Um, but of course, if, if the um, review yields or, or demonstrates that the term is two years, that would be within the range of acceptable um, and it would, uh, it would not flag the issue. Uh, it would identify where the term length exists in the agreement, but it would not propose a red line. Um, reason type, this is uh, either a suggestion or a red line. Uh, I think that that's pretty self-explanatory, but in the event of, of something that is very binary, we accept this, we don't accept this, this is our choice of law, this is our jurisdiction, we recommend implementing it as a red line. This means that if the issue is spotted, um, it will literally propose the language to, to change uh, to make it compliant. Um, you can also add uh, enable comments. And so you could say um, as a matter of policy, we don't, we require this term length, whatever your preferred language would be. And of course, what this means is that uh, once the AI runs and once this rule is applied as a red line, it will also uh, add a comment uh, that corresponds to that change, uh, similar as you would do manually inside Microsoft Word. So I've now created a rule. I've created my first, so I had a typo. Let me fix that. Um, I have my first playbook 
rule built and I can run it. Of course, I would expect you to have more than one rule, but you know, you could have 15, you could have five, uh, but I can just like that, I can save and run it. Um, and let's see what it says. I know that this term length for this agreement is six years, so I'm not surprised that it flagged the issue. Uh, as we, as we just, as you just saw me, uh, create the 18 month rule, uh, since it's, it's outside the compliance at six, it's now redlined at 18. I can click on this to take me to that section of the agreement. It's clause five. I can apply it. Uh, and their red line immediately takes hold. Um, and then when I go back to my playbook library now and I go under custom, um, let's see if I can find it. Demo playbook number five, that's the one I just created. So I can come back here, I can modify this, I can add additional, I can add choice of law, I can add non-solicitation, whatever it may be um, to refine and expand this playbook to meet my exact needs. So that is a quick orientation. I hope that was helpful. Uh, again, as I mentioned, we have a great tutorial library uh, available um, uh, on our YouTube channel and also accessible through our homepage at lawinsider.com. If you have any questions or any issues, you can also reach us directly at support at lawinsider.com. Thank you.